Well, I, uh, I was in nursing school for three years and Mimi and I felt it was time for a break. So she was ready to take her vacation and I was ready to go on a vacation. So I, I said, let's go down to Arizona where the, the Wild West and meet some Indians <laughs> and meet uh, different people. We, we knew we had an aunt and uncle living there too. So we, we, that's what we did. We went ahead and we booked uh, plane tickets and we came out to Phoenix, Arizona. And while we're here, and Agnes says, oh, I have a wonderful two boys here that uh, would love to meet you. And uh, I said, oh, well, okay. And, uh, and she, uh, Rains, Marilyn, and Mimi and I went out for uh, shopping. We wanted to go shop and get some souvenirs and stuff. And while we're gone, she went ahead and arranged to get the other for me and uh, Dad. And this is a picture of our first night, the first day that we met Uncle John and Dad taking it at Agnes's house. Now in the mirror of that. In the mirror, you can see the reflection of Aunt Mimi and, uh, and Shirley. This was back in 1965. Seems like yesterday. Yeah, that was a clever idea of uh, having uh, the mayor. And I'm sure that must be my brother Johnny, who is a photographer and uh, he knows the angles that count. So uh, that reflection shows beautiful that, that evening. So. But, uh, I wanted to add to the story that Mom was talking about is that uh, my brother John and I, uh, many of the families would call us up to take the company that they would, there was a one month before, came from Australia, and she had relatives out here. And we just, we had a routine where to take them. You know, we go to uh, uh, the Biltmore, walk, walk around, drive around that. Then we went to the, um, that was in the uh, fall weather. No, that was probably the springtime, the first time you came out, I believe. It was in February. In February. So we, we went to the uh, Japanese garden on baseline. And it was so, it was, oh, beautiful. And, and the, the scent of fruits. the flowers. And then we took her to the Mormon church, I'm sure of that. And they had a lot of uh, fruit trees, uh, grapefruit trees. and. Uh, we took pictures and looked at that. So we had a routine, uh, Johnny and I, of to take them and show them around. And then uh, I, uh, I saw a lot of interest in uh, Shirley, and uh, I said, well, let's see what happens. So getting in the car that, uh, that day, uh, the, 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 then we went to a dance at the Cedars. Remember that too? The first night? No, we went no out not for, the first night. No, the, the first, first night we went out we for a tour. Yeah, a yeah, tour yeah. and then dinner. Right. At Kelly's. Yeah, on Central. Yeah. And not there anymore. It was a steakhouse, a popular steakhouse. And, the, and they, had the, they had good food and they had a good reputation. We went there. And then when, the, but you didn't tell the story about you coming to sit in the front seat over. Oh, Mimi wanted to sit in the front seat and I didn't know it. Uh, but I wanted the front seat. We didn't know who was going to be driving. So I hopped up into the front seat before she knew what hit her. And she gave a little kick to my foot. And then that's when it dawned on me that she probably wanted the front seat. So I ended up uh, in the front seat with Dad. Yeah. And Mimi was with Uncle Johnny in the back. And Dad did the driving. I didn't know he was going to be the driver. But he, he did the driving. We, he took us all around, which is nice. And I liked the manners. He had very nice manners, opening the door and all that. But before we left, I said goodbye to Monsignor Atu, who is a, uh, the priest that married us. This is really, it's going, right. I'm, I'm going to work. 
And these are pictures of my younger brothers and sisters. And well, oh, this is Aunt Agnes and her mother, Susan. They are out here. She's the one who introduced you to Dad. Mm -hmm. And Agnes introduced me to Dad and to uh, Uncle Jammy. Um, this is when we got engaged. Shirley Bay had called Davis plan to wed. She's a played as head nurse of surgical recovery room, St. Joseph's Hospital. Yeah. A lot of little writing in there. Yeah. I won't read it all. That was in Arizona. Yeah. Huh? No, that was Arizona Republic. That article that came from the Danbury. Yeah, the Danbury. Newspaper, right. Yes. And then. Uh, what are the pictures of the nurses? Okay, these are pictures of when I worked as a nurse uh, here in Phoenix, because I worked for a while. I lived here and worked, and I worked in uh, five, I worked in the surgical recovery room, which was in here, you can see. And these are the nurses I worked with. This is the one with Eileen Eileen, Pinson. yeah, yeah. She faked out blood pressures, and I reported her. They took me to go upstairs and take over, so yes. I did. That was in the recovery room. When the patients come out of surgery, they go in this recovery room and they're monitored to see that everything. Make sure their blood pressure is all right. And, and how they're feeling. And she was uh, faking the blood pressure. And it bothered me because there were other nurses who had been there longer than I had. With <coughs> Virginia Moore, Morehouse and this other nurse. They, they were there a lot longer than I was. And, they never said anything. I asked them, I said, do you know she's faking them out? And they said, yeah, we know. I said, oh, okay. Then I knew she, they weren't saying anything. This is a nurse that came to relieve one of the nurses. She's very nice, very, very good. She was a good nurse in the uh, surgical recovery room. We worked together very well. And here's a whole row of us here. This is one of the younger student nurses who came to help. That's me, that's Eileen. That's an orderly that worked there. This is a nurse, another nurse. Um, what are these right here? This is like the dead son that's you and Five Biden? year reunion that you're writing. Oh. So did you go back to Connecticut and who is courting you? Um, they sent you those flowers? No, let's see. So, okay, we got the, the nursing done where I worked. And I worked on Four West, too, back in Connecticut. These are the nurses. So you had an apartment. Uh, well, first of all, okay. Shirley went back after her vacation, back to Connecticut, and we communicated with each other. And even while she was down here, I, uh, I had a chance to maybe, what date you three or four times, so. Yeah. Yeah. And we sit down, talk, and talk, you know, and that uh, I found uh, uh, both of us were interested in each other. I says, you know, the, the truthful way to, under, to make, for us to be, to know each other is for her to come out here. So I asked her if she would uh, come back, and uh, she gave it a lot of thought. I don't know. and. And then, at the same time, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the World's Fair was coming to New York. So I had a chance to, uh, to go back there. But I think you came out, for, no, I came out and I went once. You uh, went to the, the World's Fair and, uh, yeah. and, and uh, am I right? That, that, yeah, that you came to the World's Fair because you had to go see your relatives in Canada. Okay. So one time you thought you'd come and visit me. And then, then go up to Canada to see the relatives. Um, and, uh, and then I got to see, meet her whole family. And uh, when uh, there was a, a prop plane that was booked just for the people that want to go to the World's Fair, all right? And then they would get uh, dropped off. And it was a prop plane, <laughs> and I'll tell you, that, that uh, and there was a little bit of wind headwind for the plane, 
and they didn't, their timing wasn't as good as it should be, you know. So uh, I came in, uh, I think, uh, uh, late by about an hour or two uh, there. And then yeah. uh, they, uh, they were there, uh, I think, uh, that was uh, Nick and, and you in the plane to pick me up. Yeah. yeah, did it arrive in Norwalk? Uh, no, no, and, and right in the, uh, JFK, right down there. So most of it, Nick. Yeah. So uh, I got picked up and they went to the house. What her mother did, and uh, that was very kind, she had a meal on that table you couldn't believe. Mm -hmm. You know when you get off the airplane how you feel? The stomach is not settled, it's still in your head. <laughs> So, uh, you I, like I did, it all. Oh, you gotta have this. You gotta have that. My mother, you know. so I, I was trying to be kind and uh, be polite. So they, <laughs> uh, they were, uh, and uh, I, uh, I got along with uh, all of them. You know? My grandmother was at the table. You yes, got to meet her. Meet her, right? What was she like, Dad? She was a beautiful woman, a, a very holy woman too. Yeah. She was. Uh, She's had a, a, a life full of life, you know. So uh, she was uh, had a cane under her arm and she would limp when she would walk. But she was a, a, a beautiful, you know, grandmother to uh, care. And that would be her father's mother. And that, that shows you the strength of the moral strength that a family has when they have the grandmother stayed with them, and they already had uh, uh, seven kids in the family. Eight, there are eight children. Eight, eight children in the family, so she's had, uh, you know, the mother and her, that was, that was pretty kind. So before I left, I, Monsignor had to, came to say goodbye. And these are my three uh, no, they, younger children. Yeah, no, he that. said bye to you when you didn't. Before you got married. Yeah, before. Before you got married. Yeah. Anyways, so, yeah. here's a picture of him. Yeah, but that's He's a the picture one who married us. Yeah. Uh, this is December 1970. We got married in 66, so there's the 1970. And this, for a fifth year reunion, is that for nursing or? Yeah, it looks like that. I, I think so, because that Paul. went to Redwood. Uh, I, I think so, on your five years, yeah. Oh, I went to Redwood Drive. Yeah. So, so maybe when you went back after you met Dad, he sent you flowers? Maybe. Yeah. Does it say Love Paul? No. Yeah, Love Paul. Congratulations on your fifth year reunion. So maybe you went back for your love fifth year Paul. reunion? Would be that, would be that, the, the one that was uh, away from the, the five year reunion where you went. Anyway, it I don't was know. a reunion. We know that much, and we sent her flowers. We, I sent her flowers. She was mm -hmm. here. Here's your wedding album. Just, you don't have to go through the whole thing. Just pick that one picture that's special to you, and you can tell us. Of course, the one that, in my wedding gown, and of course, the our license to get married, our marriage certificate. And this tells about our wedding to Shirley, to Paul, at St. Anne's Mount Kite Church. And maid of honor was Aunt Mimi, best man was Uncle John, bridesmaid was Evelyn Bade and Mike Michael, Kenneth Bade and Nicholas Anthony Bade. This is a group picture of everybody who was in the wedding. That's me with my two sisters. And I told them I want to pay for their gowns. I didn't want them to worry about money at all. So I paid for their gowns. Did you pay for your own wedding? Yeah. Where, where, where <laughs> was the reception? At our Armando's. Uh, uh, fortunately, it was very close to the house. And yeah. it was a, a, really a, a not bad a nightclub uh, kind of uh, uh, place, you know, and it, the food was uh, 
Oh, very good. So Shirley picked all, all of that, you know. And uh, so uh, normally the custom out there is the, uh, the bride, bride's family normally pays for the wedding uh, for the reception. And then uh, what uh, 